concerning the case of the joint of the press meeting we have with the joint admission manipulation board of uh, So I'm glad to inform you that the police has um, unveiled threat actors behind falsification of thousands of fake jam admission letters and has arrested three suspects they covered four fake domain and websites. As the Inspector General of Police reiterates, FPF dedication to guarantee safety, security of citizens, both physically and in the cyberspace. Following the previous press briefing by the Nigerian Police Force and the Joint Admission and Multipulation of JAM, where the general public was assured of the result of the two agencies in putting all hands on deck to ensure the suspect behind the proliferation of fake, various fake websites for jam registration and the falsification of fake jam admission letters are destined the menace of forgery, system interference, and schemes operating phishing websites to defraud unsuspecting jam candidates, the Nigeria Police Force National Cyber Crime Center has arrested three suspects in connection with the case of conspiracy, computer-related forgery, and system interference contrary to Section 8, 13, and 27 of the Cyber Crimes Act 2024 as amended. The suspect namely Ms. Effa Leonard A. Tama, Ivan Ernest Jerome, and Eshet Odoto Kana Bessie, all male of ages 34, 38, and 38 respectively, and others at large, belong to a syndicate who intentionally and knowingly conspired and procured amongst themselves services that enabled them to illegally access jump restricted central admission processing systems, CAFs, and e-facility respectively, and proceeded to alter and delete other candidates' previous admission letters and inputted fake details, resulting in in authentic admission letter, which were acted upon as genuine to secure admissions into tertiary institutions and mobilization for National Youth Service Corps NYC program, thus compromising the entire jump admission process with its attendant consequences. Upon arrest, the suspect revealed their various degrees of involvement in the conspiracy, collaborating the already available overwhelming evidences. The duo of Effa Leonard Mpama and Ivan Enes Jerome and others at large collected personal details of the prospective candidates and forward same to Mr. Eshet who took to Kana Bessie who gets calves legs from Daniel and Chris. Next Daniel and Chris still at large are working with farm that is Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria Center and Unical Jam Computer Based Test Centers. These are centers in these two places in FAN and UNICAL. Not that they are working with FAN or working with UNICAL, but Jam has centers in these two facilities, these two places, and that's where these uh, flame suspects are actually working. In more development, digital forensic analysis led to the recovery of four fake domains, websites, and two principal threat actors of a syndicate in Imo State behind the creation of the fake domains and other associated websites operated by them. Similarly, the test suspect, Mr. Eshet, who has access to the central admission processes system links, unlike the deal above, proceed to any CBT center 
and opens the jam e facility with a login detail of a candidate with previous admission and thereafter superimpose since the new details collected to create a fake admission letter. Why strongly warning against all sorts of criminal partnerships that promote illegal activities of this nature and others engaging in similar activities. The Inspector General of Police of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, IGP Ulukayode, and the Ulu Egberto Pompeji NPA, applauds the Nigerian Police Force National Cyber Crime Center, led by CP Uche Ifani Eri, <coughs> as he reaffirms the commitment of the force to leveraging on emerging technological advancements to protect the citizens of Nigeria, both physically and digital space. The suspects will be charged to court upon the conclusion of other investigations into this case. Thank you, gentlemen of the press. That's the message from the Nigeria Police Force. And I think the young spokesman will like to say one or two things before the proper parade of the suspect. Thank you very much. Uh, let me first use this opportunity to appreciate the Nigerian Police Force and to also appreciate one of its uh, arm, that is the NCCC, for the thorough job they are doing. And to also advise uh, would be uh, persons that want to be involved in this unwholesome act that technology has come to help, and we're doing everything humanly possible to ensure that whoever goes into this very uh, ignoble act is caught and will face the consequences. We have uh, developed uh, platforms to check all these kind of activities. We have what the people have mentioned, the central admission processing system tabs. Admission is automated. What that means is that whatever is done there can be tracked. And we have what we call the matriculation list that monitors the process of admission from the point of being admitted to the point of graduation. As we speak, because of the advantage of technology that we're using, there are even those who have thought that they have succeeded, have gone on NYC, and that we're fishing them out. There are some of them that we are arresting, serving all members. Some of them have even finished by invalidating their certificates. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that there is no shortcut to success. If you think that you're going to beat uh, or cut or do cyber the system for you to succeed, I bet you that the long arm of the law will, will catch up with you. Technology is there. And don't forget that whatever you do using the internet is traceable. Wherever you are, you'll be caught. We have just released results and some people, persons are going about offering all sort of like, scores to candidates, pay 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, and your result will be inflated to whatever figure. That is not mm -hmm. like that. And if you patronize that particular site, you that patronize and the person that has even offered that particular decision will be arrested. We are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that the system is clean because we believe that if we don't do this, even the certificate that some of these candidates are holding will not be recognized. The respect, the recognition that it deserves, it will not get. So we call on Nigerians to cooperate with, with the Joint Admissions and Manipulation Board especially this partnership that we're forging now, to ensure that such an uh, individual that wants to give our country or our, our education system burden are actually fish out. So please and please work hard, read, do everything you want to possible, at least follow the right channels, and then success will be your uh, destination. But if you want to go through the shortcut, you will see, I believe these guys, if uh, give me the opportunity to tell you what they've gone through in the last uh, one or two months, you will not, it's not something that anybody will want to go into. And we have more, the operation is still ongoing. And in the next couple of weeks or months, a number of persons will still be paraded again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joint Admission and Matriculation Board. And for me, to reiterate our commitment once again that the partnership with JAM is on. We are partnering with UAEC, another examination council of bodies in Nigeria to cope issues like this. These are 
uh, the criminal activities that certain individuals are engaging to live fat on uh, their means of livelihood. I don't want us to continue to live or to want to be living fat on criminal activities. As a criminal, I always say that you can only hide. You can only run, you cannot hide. Uh, we'll get you with all the platforms you have, all the forensic analysis, uh, ICT based platforms, we will surely get you. In forensic investigation, we always say, uh, and of course, the motive of that uh, forensic investigation is uh, every, every offense committed leaves a trace. Every offense committed leaves a trace. There's no offense one will commit, there must be a gap. That loophole for us to arrest you. I will surely arrest you. Uh, let me seize this opportunity before we parade the suspect to reiterate our statement we made yesterday again, gentlemen of the press. There was a news scheduled uh, recently, false food schedule that uh, some armed robbers went to the house of the Inspector General of Police. That is not true. The no robbery was recorded, not even a theft was recorded in the house or the quarters of the Inspector General of Police or any of our facilities here in Abuja. It's laughable, it's ridiculous for somebody to sit down and push out such uh, information to the general public that the office will be number one policeman in Nigeria, number one policeman in Africa, in West Africa, because he's the chairman of West African Chiefs of Police. For his house, if you're familiar with the structure uh, of the house, and uh, coupled with the, the security structure and arrangement in the end of this house, we know it's not possible for anybody to, to carry out any armed robbery or theft in that place. It is not possible. So we want to urge Nigerian to please disregard such news. We are working on those uh, that are into the members of the cartel who are always dealing um, in sales, receiving and sales of stolen goods in the Federal Capital Territory and several others. Their job is to go and bogle people's houses, cut away their gold, what billions of naira. We've been able to arrest, as I speak we do, we have 22 suspects in the cell in connection with that, with that particular case or that syndicate. We are still going to pick more of them. We have them in the cell, and we have a court order to keep them. I think some of them that want to go and celebrate Salah are the ones trying to sponsor some of these false food. It is not true. It is ridiculous. It is laughable for somebody to just come up with that false food to tell us that the armed robbers went to the IGP's house. It is not true. So we want to order Nigerians to be this regard. And always believe in our system. We Always follow the process in making sure that we carry out our investigations and we carry out prosecution of some of these cases. We are in this era now that when we investigate a case, we follow up and we make sure we even prosecute. So it is not that we investigate, we arrest, we investigate, and the matter, after releasing them on bail, the matter ends there. No, we make sure now that we prosecute suspect. And like I rolled out in our statistics, that we had not done a uh, year under review, that in the last one year, we were able to prosecute more than 29,000 cases. And we had more than 16,000 convictions. Why other cases are still active in court? Why some of them are still in court of appeal? Because when we have conviction on some cases, some will not be happy, they have right of appeal. They are going to have big all these cases as people. We are winning some of our cases. We are winning the war against these criminals in our country. All we need from you is your full support. Support the police, support security agencies, support the government so that we can have a better and more secure communities or environment in Nigeria. Thank you and God bless you. Please are the men. Please, Mr. I didn't know I to call you. Efa Leonard, Infama. Where is Iman? And is Jerome. And Eshet, we go to Kana Benson. Now, why did I not arrange according to the page? As I said, come to the menu. Mm -hmm. There's seniority, the criminality, and punishment. I, you are 34. Your real age or use birth certificate. 
or you use uh, Abidafit. This is what we have on your bus making for Abidafit. Abidafit. So you remind at 34, this is not your age. You are one of your popular market day. Eh? Where are you from? Ikon. Where were you arrested? Kalaba. What of you, Oga Efa? You are 38. That is your age. Or oh, Afidafi. Okay. Oga Ivan. Oh, uh, Jerome. You are Jerome. Okay. Benson. You are 38 too. You told me. You are not yourself, I mean, uh, this case, joined together. Hmm? This business. Eh? And this business joined them together. Eh? Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of them? Are you afraid of the journalists? We are your friends, buddy. Right? In Calabar. For how long have you been doing this business? Just, just a year. And how much have you made from the business? We need to stay at South Park, so we don't know anything. So that they can, the, the, the mic can pick now. Okay. This is a forensic mic. Okay. See. Now, okay like this. Come ask me. Come. No, 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 not you. Come on, you want to Thank you. Jordan, how long have you been in this business? Are you? This year. This year. This year. Which month? Are you? That's a July 2. What do you want? What is business? Bet? Bet King. Bet King. You will bet. So that's why I call the gambling with people's career. Students, candidates. You eh? gamble with their lives. Where do you work? Farman. This is the first time I see Farman with his business. Speak up. Speak up. Boat driver. And you? You have a poultry farm now. And it's not enough for you. Why are you why did you venture into this business? You can't think of devil. Devil don't suffer. Eh? So for so far, so good. How much have you realized of this dirty business? Yeah. I think Nigerians and um, candidates, um, students can see their faces. You must have come across them before now. You must have seen the faces anyhow. You must have heard about their names. These are the people that have been causing harms to you when it comes to your issue of uh, jam registration. Jam, uh, examination, all those things cause falsification of results, falsification of jam, admission letters. You can see the three of them. And there are many who continue to go after all of them. They are helping us, they have been so nice. They are helping us, and we are sure we're going to get others. I like the, the jam said the other time that students should be very careful too. They always release their original portals and website to you, patronize them. Don't follow back, back door. Say you want to get something. Shortcuts at times can be so dangerous for, for you. So the three of you, it's quite unfortunate that you are uh, you are Nigerians and you have decided to choose or to tow this line. But one good thing again is that we have captured you. And that's the end of the business. Um, and I'm sure Nigerians can see those who know uh, much about these syndicates and you know much about them, we want to urge you to still come forward to SEC 
see here in Abuja, diplomatic directors, the headquarters of the office, and you can follow them on their handles. They're everywhere on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on social media platforms. Get to them, drop your complaints in respect to this particular case, and I'm sure we're going to do a uh, good due diligence in that regard. And gentlemen of the press, if you have any questions for them, they are here, but I, I think they're okay. If they're not okay, ask them. Or uh, ask them. Uh, you ask them you know, some of the basic questions, but I will want to hear from you psychologically. Tell us your experience. When were you arrested? Let me ask you. When were you arrested? Yes, actually, I was arrested in prison. I said, in prison, I said, are you? In prison. In prison. So, so, tell us psychologically your experience. Are you regretting your action? My actions and the past two months. Speak to the men, they are your friends. The past two months have been a whole lot of regret and um, reflecting on uh, uh, the actions and the deeply regretting and the past for forgiveness. Yes, I deeply ask for forgiveness. So safe in my life. I know it will not happen again for my own Thank you. That's awesome. Sweet out. I feel bad about what happened. The past thing I have been under attention, I regret all the actions I have done. I'm not sure. is involved in this too, if this is the, to make them to be, to be out of this, it's not, it's not a good. You have a message for your fellow citizens who have not yet been arrested. Any message for them? Uh, anyone who have, not been, who have not been arrested out there that have been into this business in one way or another, I would ask that you refrain from this because it's not a good experience you find yourself here. Yes. Do you have anybody you work with in the world who are working from outside? Right, thank you. Well, let me just I just want to advise, especially parents. Because uh thank you. I think one of the one of the motivators what propels some of these candidates to patronize these people is desperation. You know, and uh, parents are also responsible for some of these kind of things because you see a parent that wants his child to win medicine at all costs. Some of them want to beautify their CV. At the point maybe he feels that he doesn't have a good CV and uh, the only way he can make it rich is to have a doctor's son, like a doctor and stuff like that, and they begin to push these kids. Otherwise, we say this repeatedly that our examination is not a pass fail examination. Nobody fails jam, and nobody passes jam. The man that fails jam is, is the man that the final analysis is not admitted. So, head of tell you find a position somewhere. There are three tiers of tertiary uh, uh, institution. You have the university, you have the polytechnic, you have the colleges of education, and they all have different requirements of admission. So, if you can make it to the university, you can make it to the polytechnic or the college of education. Even within the university, if you cannot read medicine. You can read chemistry, you can read anatomy, you can read um, zoology and stuff like that. So once you take what you are capable of doing, some of these things will not happen. And destiny, who tells you that if you read zoology, you will make it in life? I'm not sure uh, you, if, if you have a second chance. Maybe if I read mathematics, you want to go into something that would have been stressful. You understand? <laughs> because you find yourself in police. So people have read courses that they feel that will take them to a But they end up still being nowhere. So please, parents, allow your kids to fashion their own destiny. Let them do what they feel that they're best at. Instead of this pressure of you must do this and kind of a thing. They make so much cases there. And I want to advise Nigeria that if 
Most of us will not succeed. What makes you think that you can still follow that same route and still get to where you want to go to? So please and please, we have all that it takes. The Lord has made things very easy. You will be caught, no matter how long it takes. Some of them have graduated their service, and we're fishing them out. All the years you've suffered, four years or five years or six years, depending on the program you've gone into, is wasted. You'll be prosecuted, you'll be jailed, and you'll use that certificate. So it's better for you to do what is right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You want the jam number you know? Was it given to you by jam? Huh? So what do you want to prove now? Okay, just off the camera. Let me just explain what it is. Please just off the camera.